How's it going, FPCU? Uh, Derek Seward here. Uh, I know this is a weird time, uh, but we're going to get into some yoga today. Uh, but first, uh, I have a reading from Hebrews 12, 11. Now, discipline always seems painful rather than pleasant at the time, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. So I know this is a weird time uh, with the coronavirus and not having your normal routine. Uh, social distancing is just a weird concept, and it's weird not to see your friends, go to school, or even go see a movie. Uh, I wanted to find an activity that you guys can do at home uh, or with your family um, to start to kind of center yourself uh, with this weird time. And uh, yeah, I think yoga is a great discipline for your heart, uh, body, and mind. So um, I pray that as we get started, uh, we'll be rejuvenated and centered in Jesus. So uh, let's go and uh, do some yoga. Hello! Welcome to your 15-20 minute happy yoga flow. <laughs> I'm Katie, your director of children's ministry, if I don't know you already. Um, and I'm really excited to do this with Eric. Yeah. Um, so let's start in a comfortable seated pose. So whatever that means to you. Um, if simple cross-legged, like how I'm sitting, is comfortable, go for it. Um, I'll probably do a lot of different options, too, so you can give two different options. Or maybe you might want to sit up on your heels. Or if you're sitting on in your living room or inside anywhere, um, I just ask that you don't sit on a couch because oftentimes we'll like slump and get a little too chill. So if you can, sit on a surface that's harder. Um, and if you're seated upright, go ahead and rock to one side, rock to the other side so you can find yourself really tall. Notice your spine as if it had a string on the top of your head, sitting up really, really tall as if it's string were pulling up towards the ceiling. And then think about what can ground down and let go. For me, I kind of let my hands relax on my legs. If you're seeking a lot of energy right now, if you're feeling really low energy, you might want to rotate your palms upward. And if your brain is kind of monkey mind all over the place, you might want to allow your palms to rotate down. And then if you're like, if you're comfortable with that, you can close your eyes. If closing your eyes isn't where you want to be right now, just have your focus on something softly in front of you, and that's great too. And then just begin to notice your breath. You can see if maybe you could invite some length into your breath, in through your nose. Maybe feel your belly expand. Maybe feel your heart, your heart rise. And then you can sort of pause at the top. And then as you breathe out, maybe you feel your heart soften, your belly sort of relax. And then keep breathing just like that. And each time I breathe in, I think, what could rise? Maybe grow a little bit taller. And what could let go? So especially in this time where we're at, it's lovely to invite space in the body. Space brings energy. It brings positivity, good thoughts. So if we can sit a little bit taller, we have all of this more space to breathe, which again is bringing oxygen to our brain fresh ideas, positivity, and then your exhale is this awesome opportunity to let go. Any thoughts that do not serve you, any worry, just like we give our worries over to Jesus, I kind of let my exhale, let all that go. It's natural for our brain to keep thinking, keep bringing in new thoughts. So if new thoughts come in, that's totally fine. Breathe into that. And then when you're ready, let go. Exhale, let them go. Let them roll right out. You can leave your eyes closed or gently softly open them. But on your next breath in, see if you could reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Take a huge breath in and then there's that pause between our breath, right? Our hands pause there. And then as you breathe out, allow your palms to press and bring this shape all the way down to your heart. So you feel your thumbs graze your chest. So that's called vinyasa, connecting your breath with movement. That's all we're doing. So you may be at a different place than me and that's great too. So as you breathe in, allow your arms to rise up. Wait for your breath in. Let it pause at the very top. As you breathe out, let that shape come all the way back to that prayer pose. Thumbs graze your chest. Keep moving with your breath. And again, we all breathe differently, so move at your pace. In and out. Couple more times. Inhaling. And exhaling. On your next exhale, we'll meet with our hands all the way down to that prayer pose again, pressing palms together, maybe a little bit of air space between that. And then on your next breath in, reach your arms all the way up, 
twist to your right, and then let your hands fall down, let them land wherever they land. Your eyes could stay closed or gently open. We'll stay here for a couple breaths. Each inhale, grow a little bit taller. Again, breathe into that space, that positivity, that strength. And as you breathe out, what can you sort of shed and let go? Maybe you twist a little bit more. This is really detoxifying for the brain, for the body. And then on your next breath in, come all the way back to the center. Huge breath in. And as you breathe out, twist to the opposite side. Let your fingers land wherever they fall. Maybe you're so flexible that your palms could press into the mat or your floor. Instead, tent up to your fingertips. See if you can find more length. Breathe into that space, and then as you breathe out, twist a little bit more. Come all the way back to the center. Huge breath in. Bring your hands all the way down to your heart as you breathe out. If you're dealing with any um, jaw tension or having any difficulty sleeping, this next sequence is really awesome. You can reach your right hand all the way up. Let it find your left ear and just sort of let the weight of your fingertips relax your ear to your shoulder. I'm not pressing down just letting the weight of my fingertips. You can feel that stretch down the outside of your neck. Take your opposite hand if you want a deeper stretch and reach it out, palm facing upward. You might feel that stretch deepen a little bit. And then from here, I take my chin and just sort of face towards my armpit <laughs> and my fingertips find the base of my head. Take a couple of breaths here, stretching the back of your neck now and resist the urge to round your spine. Keep sitting up really tall and then let your chin find your chest. Let the base of your hand find your forehead sort of give the weight of your forehead into your palm. And then pressing your palm into your forehead, allow your chin to rise up right from where we began and let your opposite hand fall down. Next inhale breath, reach your other arm up. Fingertips find your ear. And sort of open the other side of your neck. Again, if this stretch is too intense, that hand can rest on your lap. If you want it a little bit deeper, you could walk your fingers out a little bit deeper. Your palms can flip up. And then from here, eyes can stay closed if you'd like. You can let your chin find your inner armpit, your fingertips to the base of your neck. Take a couple of breaths in and out, opening the neck here. If you have any TMJ issues or jaw, upper neck or back, this is a great thing to do. And then from here, let your chin find your chest. Let that same hand, palm rest into forehead. Give the weight of your head into your forehead and press all the way back up. Fingertips can rest on your thighs for a moment. We're going to slowly move to all fours, but we've been sitting for a while. So before you do that, you can walk your hands out. If you have wrist issues, maybe it'll be up on your um, on your fist. And we'll truly sort of gently reach one leg back. And then the next, till we find all fours, we're going to come into cat and cowing. So we can spread our fingertips wide. Again, if your wrists don't like this, you can come down to your forearms. You can tent up to your um, hands or spread your fingers really wide here. See that your middle finger is pointing directly forward. Take a peek behind you, look for your feet. See that they're hidden behind your knees. You can tuck your toes under. And then as you inhale, lift your chest up, your heart up, take a huge breath in. And as you exhale, press into the mat round like a Halloween cat through your spine. And then vinyasa, connect your breath with movement. Inhale to open through your heart, through your chest. And as you exhale, press into the mat round through your spine. Once more, inhale, breathing, and then exhale, breathing, press into your mat. Come all the way back to the center, feel really strong through your belly and reach one arm out. So we'll do a right arm first. Derek, I'm tricking you because I'm doing the mirror, so you'll have to do the mirror with me. <laughs> your belly feels really strong here. Maybe let your fingertips come in line with your ear and reach your opposite leg back. If this is too tricky, put that foot right back down in all fours. Take a couple of breaths right here, and then take one long inhale breath. And as you breathe out, see if this elbow could find your knee for just a moment. Take an inhale, length and long again. See if your elbow could find your knee at that last moment of your exhale breath. Move with your breath. Take another huge inhale, and then when you're done breathing that inhale, exhale to all fours, opposite side. Reach your left arm forward, pause here. So instead of looking up at me, see if you can look down at your mat. Maybe bring your arm in line with your ear. Feel your belly engaged, strengthening your back. Again, filling your back with that space of breath. Maybe your opposite leg reaches back. And then notice what needs to engage to keep your body steady here. Take a huge breath in as you breathe out, elbow to knee and touch for just a moment. Inhale to lengthen long. Exhale, let that knee and elbow touch at the very last moment. Once more, huge inhale breath. 
and exhale to all fours. From here, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up like an upside down B, and then walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Let your head hang heavy and we'll roll up. Let your head be the last thing to arrive until you're standing up tall in mountain pose. Let your shoulders melt down your back and then walk to the front of your mat if you're not there already. And then from here, standing in mountain pose, so really strong, standing like a mountain, right? Space in our spine, resist the urge to slouch over, or lean into one hip. Notice your feet are right underneath your hips, spread your toes wide. Notice that we can root the energy down, right? What can relax and let go, and then what can rise and lift up and fill with your breath? Maybe rotate your hands forward, Maybe close your eyes and feel what it's like to breathe and stand in your body. Maybe bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and notice that present breath coming in and out, expanding and rising. And then when you're ready to move on, maybe allowing your arms to relax at your sides, we're going to do mini sun salutations. It should be accessible to everybody. Um, we're doing it all from standing. We used this in our kids yoga the other day. Um, when Jesus said, I am the light of the world, we sort of did this to sort of thank God for that light, this beautiful sun we have in this time of sort of craziness. We have awesome sunlight to really thank God for and just stand tall in. So take a huge breath in as you inhale, and then through that prayer pose, look all the way down to your toes, relax your body over. Halfway lift, inhale, breathing. Fingertips can find your thighs or your shins, not your knees. And as you exhale, relax over, forward fold. I bend my knees here. I inhale, stand all the way back up, huge mountain pose, and exhale your hands to your heart. That's all it is, move with your breath. Inhale, and exhale. Halfway lift, long spine, inhale, exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, inhale, rise all the way up, full mountain pose, exhale, hands to your heart. Twice more, all on your own, we'll meet back here. And one more. Awesome. From here, spread your toes wide. Keep one foot forward and step the other foot back. I keep my right foot forward and step my left foot back. <laughs> Do an opposite. Um, so we're building warrior one. So I bend my front knee a little bit. My back toes are facing curved diagonally. If you have a yoga mat, probably by diagonal corner. Maybe straighten both legs for a second. And then when you bend your knee, notice that you can still see your toes. If you can't see your toes, maybe take a wider stance. You want our knee right over your ankle. And then your hips, if you want to put your hands on your hips, begin to draw forward. You sort of begin to soften into that lunge. Take an inhale to lengthen. And exhale, soften back into that lunge. Inhale to lengthen. And as you exhale, soften back in. You can stay right here for balance or maybe sweep the arms high. Maybe your shoulders are asking you to bend your elbows. Maybe they lengthen. Maybe your biceps can come in line with your ears. This doesn't have to be super low like how I'm standing. It could be really short. I just make sure that I can see my toes. So this is warrior one, strong warrior pose. A lot of strength in the legs. And then I notice, where can I ground down? Where can I rise up? Just like we were seated. As you inhale, where can I fill with space, with positivity, with possibility? And as you exhale, what can sort of shed and let go? Take one more huge breath in. As you breathe out, bring your hands back to your heart. And this time we'll open into warrior two pose. So I'll we'll open my hip to the side and I'll stretch my arm forward and back. The bent knee is the same arm that I have lifted. Lift your palms up, awesome. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Take a huge breath in. As you breathe out, let them glide down. Palms can rotate down. We're gonna take a couple of breaths right here. So your legs might have a lot to say here. See if you could pretend your mat became ice or the floor was ice and sort of hug your inner thighs together so you're not just dumping all that weight into the front leg. Rotate your front palm up, reach forward and then peaceful warrior, my favorite, reach up and slightly back. 
you'll stay right where you are like Derek. I'm going to turn to the side just to show you what it looks like. I'm just reaching up and back and my back arm isn't on my knee. It's above or below. Or if you want to get really fancy, you can wrap that arm around your back. Yeah. And then you can press into that. Maybe it's your front thigh and reach a little bit further. Take a huge breath in. And as you breathe out, lengthen that front leg. Let the arms face the side. Hands on your hips. You can toe heel the feet together or just jump together. We're gonna switch sides. Step the opposite foot back, whichever leg you did last time. Just switch it. Warrior one pose. Focus the hips forward before we open them in warrior two. And then begin to settle down to your level of comfortability. Again, you could do this whole thing from standing upright. I just noticed my knee never goes in front of my ankle. And then as I inhale, I lengthen my leg and I exhale, I sit a little bit lower. Again, you could close your eyes whenever you'd like. Inhale to rise, exhale to soften. Move with your breath. Inhale to rise, exhale to soften. Then sort of settle in. Maybe you can sit a little bit lower. Maybe you'd like to sweep your fingertips up towards the sky. They could stay right at your hips. Maybe they stay at prayer pose. Notice as you inhale, what can fill with space. As you exhale, what can sort of release and let go. One more huge inhale breath, maybe shift your heart up, maybe your focus up, maybe slight back bend. And as you exhale, we'll open into that warrior two. So reaching one arm forward, one arm back. And then from here, let's bring our palms together in the front to sort of show this opening and expansion through our heart. Really nice time to find space in our heart to open sort of um, like a bow and arrow. You can open through the chest, maybe peek behind you, see that your arms are lined with your shoulder. Beautiful, inhale, press your palms together. Exhale, open through your heart, shift the focus behind you. Inhale, press palms together. Move with your breath, exhale to open through the heart. This time leave the hands where they are, flip the palms down, shift the focus forward. If your neck's asking you to look to the side, look to the side. Flip that front palm up, stay low in your legs. I know it's tough, bring softness with your breath. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, up and back, peaceful warrior. Back arm could stay right on your hip, maybe above or below the knee. Maybe you wanna go for a fancy bind and wrap it behind your back. If you are, press into your body, lift up and out of that, grow taller, feel that stretch of the right side or left side of your body. Huge breath in. As you breathe out, find your warrior two, lengthen your legs hands uh, up to your hips, you can toe heel your feet, or you could just jump your feet together. We're gonna move into a tree pose. So go ahead and fan your toes wide. See if you can resist the urge to fidget or fuss or fix your hair quite yet. Um, and shift the weight onto your right foot. Bring your left foot anywhere along your leg except for your knee. So today my body's saying I need a kickstand for balance. So I'm bringing my toes on the ground. Maybe you're feeling like you wanna really work on your balance today. Maybe your toes are on your calf. Maybe you want to bring your toes up to your inner thigh. But today I'm going to kickstand it. Every day is different. Palms could stay at your hips or pressed together. You can take a couple breaths here. Notice the energy here of your body is coming up the midline so we're not sinking into our hip. Maybe palms stay pressed at your heart center. Maybe your branches start to grow. You can play in any way you like. We never have to do the same thing here. If you fall, no big deal, come right back in. Maybe you begin to lift your focus up to the sky or to where the ceiling and the wall meet in your home. Take a couple more breaths here and then slowly allow your palms to find each other. Use the strength of your belly to draw your knee into your chest. Inhale, breathing, and exhale, stand. See if you could just stand in mountain pose, nothing else, and breathe. Slowly shift the weight into the opposite leg. Maybe this side's different and that's awesome. You don't have to be exactly the same. Maybe you need a kickstand. Maybe you wanna go for full tree pose. Whatever you're feeling is awesome. Palms press. Notice you're not sitting into your hip. Draw up through your belly, lift up through your heart and breathe. You can even see if the corners of your mouth could draw up to your ears. If you fall out, no big deal. You can play with your arms any way you like. Take a couple more breaths to play. 
And then slowly allow your hands to find that heart center and your knee into your chest. And just stand in mountain pose. Take a huge breath in, reach arms high. Breathe out, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, breathing. And exhale, let your hands find your mat. We're gonna step all the way back to that downward dog, upside down V shape. Spread the feet, uh, the fingers wide. The feet are about hips width distance apart. You can pedal out the knees here. You can shake the head no, not the head yes. Rise up to your tiptoes as you inhale, and then find that all fours again as you exhale. And we're gonna stand up on our knees. If this is really tough for your knees, you can fold a mat over. And we're gonna do gate pose. It's another pose we practice in kids yoga. Um, when Jesus said, I am the gate for the sheep and your shepherd um, to keep the sheep safe, this is gate pose. As we move into gate pose, you may have noticed we magically appeared in a different space. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties, so we'll pick it up from here inside. So for gate pose, you've found some cushioning for your knees if you need it. You're standing upright, and then we'll stick out our right leg. You can bring your hands to your hips for balance if you'd like. You can point your toes up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're still outside. And then rotate that foot down so your toes are pointed towards us. Feel the outer edge of the foot grounded into the floor or the mat. And then for balance, if you want to keep moving, you can stay right here if you'd like. Or you can stretch one arm down that extended leg. You could reach the other arm all the way up. And again, it's about finding that space for possibility and positivity. You can feel that stretch, that space between each one of your rib cages all the way up to your fingertips. Take a huge breath in. As you breathe out, maybe reach a little bit further over. Maybe your chin faces up towards the sky. And then on a breath in, you'll come all the way back up, hands to your hips. Um, be careful as you transition, opposite leg out. Again, you can play with pointing your toes towards the ceiling, then rotate them down. You can stay right here if you'd like, keeping that length in your spine. Or you could go on a little bit further by reaching your arm up, reaching your fingertips down. Again, no pressure on your knee. Draw up through your belly, lift up through your heart. Fill that space with your breath. Any way or variation of this pose is awesome. Just go where your body is asking you to. Maybe reach over a little bit more. Maybe stay right there. Fill that space with your breath. Huge breath in. And as you breathe out, come all the way back. We're going to transition to seated, seated on the mat. So you can do that any way you'd like. You can sit back, rock your weight back, extend your legs out long in front of you. You can extend your mat out if you're using a mat. You don't even need a mat for this practice. You can be on the carpet. And then we're going to sit just all the way in our tallest spine of our practice so far. You can point your feet right up towards the sky or the ceiling. You can flex your legs, feel the muscles engage in your legs, breathe into that strength, tall spine. Even if you could flatten your hands, maybe tent up to your fingertips to find some more length. You could stay right here before we forward fold, or maybe you want to stretch your fingertips up to the sky. You could reach forward and feel where your back wants to round and stop there. Maybe take another breath in, and then do let your spine round forward, your head hang heavy, your heart is nurtured here. And as you breathe, we're actually creating more space in our spine in a forward fold. So as you inhale, picturing every bone in your back, those vertebrae filling with breath, and as you breathe out, see if your heart could relax closer to your legs. And then beginning at your belly, begin to round up, stacking vertebrae again by vertebrae until your head arrives last. And you're seated tall in your tallest spine of our practice so far. We're going to make our way into our, um, actually let's twist first. Let's keep our um, one leg extended. I choose my right leg to extend. So I'll step the opposite one over. There's lots of variations of twisting here. We're warmed up, so you can twist probably a little bit deeper than we did at the beginning of our practice. You could keep this leg extended if that's for you. Hug your knee into your chest or belly. Or if you'd like to go a little bit further, you could bend this knee. Derek, can you stay right where you are to show that variation? Of course. Awesome. I cannot do that. Awesome. And then, again, take your fingertips behind you. Instead of placing them on the ground, tend up. Find that length, that space for possibility in your spine can take the opposite arm, reach it high up in the sky, and then bend at your elbow and twist. If this is a little too tricky, you can keep hugging in your knee here. And then as you inhale, find a little bit more length in your spine. And as you exhale, twist a little bit more. Maybe that's just a feeling, maybe it's actually noticeable. 
Maybe it's a half inch or so. Maybe you'd like to shift your focus over your back shoulder or close your eyes. And then leave your legs exactly where they are. Take an inhale to come all the way back to the center, both arms up, and opposite side, just a light counter pose. And exhale. Come all the way back up, extend both legs, and we'll do the opposite side. So step the opposite side forward. You can stay right here. Just if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you could bend that extended knee. And then hugging that knee into your chest. Probably that same leg that's extended, you'll reach the arm up high. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then as you twist, you can hook that elbow. You could stay right here. You could extend that back arm behind you. Notice if your spine starts to round. See if you can resist that. Sit up really tall. Maybe you want to hug your knee in if you have any other variation of this pose. Maybe you shift your focus behind you. Maybe your eyes close. Take a huge breath in. As you exhale, twist a little bit more. And then coming all the way back to the center, take a huge breath in and counter pose to the other side, just relaxing the spine forward, bowing the heart forward. Come all the way back up and extend both of the legs long in front of you. Just take a peek behind you if you're on a mat or if there's furniture behind you, make sure there's room for you to lay down. And then we'll sort of hug our legs together, extend your arms out long in front of you, and then this is a really strong moment for your belly. So take a long inhale, that tall spine that we just found, and as you breathe out, round the spine until you feel every vertebrae hit the mat. If you need some support, you can grab onto the belly of your hamstring. If not, come all the way down. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice, tight hug. And then extend both of the legs long onto the mat. You can let your arms flop to your sides with the palms facing up. Your ankles can just flop open, or you could bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And we'll pause and breathe five full breaths right where you are. You don't have to count, I will. And if you breathe more or less, that's fine too. See that the bottom of your exhale, you can empty out all the breath in your body and then take a long and slow inhale. Let it pause at the very top. And maybe you breathe out with an HA and let it go, or maybe your lips stay closed and you breathe in and out of the nose. And then let the breath wash into your body like a wave of the ocean. Pause at the very top, and when you're ready, ready let it wash right back out again. Allowing your body to receive all of the effort of your yoga practice. Allowing your toes to relax, your legs to relax, your belly to relax your shoulders, and your face. And like an ice cube melting on a hot pavement in the summer, your body sort of melts into your mat or to the carpet or floor and into the earth beneath you. And if you ever need a helping hand falling asleep or letting go of any worries or concerns, the beautiful practice to do, find this pose right here and walk up your body, just relaxing every muscle until you feel absolutely relaxed. And if the mind wanders, that's okay. Bring it right back into your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And then to sort of invite our attention back into our body, you can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, maybe stretch your arms behind you and sort of yawn your body back into itself, taking a huge breath. And as you breathe out, you can bend your knees. Maybe the soles of the feet find the floor and roll onto one side. It doesn't matter what side. Your bicep, your arm can act like a pillow. You can stay here for as long as you like. Or when you're ready, press into the earth and come all the way up to sit. If your eyes are closed, they can stay closed. If they're not, that's fine too. Find any comfortable seated pose. It could be the same way you began your practice. It could be something different. Anything that feels good to you. And then go ahead and notice what's touching the ground. What can ground down? What could rise up from that? Maybe lift up through your belly, your heart, your head. Maybe fill that space with your breath. And as you exhale, what can soften? On your next breath in, reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling and maybe your palms find each other that prayer pose, and as they drift down, maybe your thumbs touch your forehead for kind and positive thoughts, your lips for kind words, your heart for an open heart. Take a huge breath in, 
and then bowing your chin to your chest, let it go. And in yoga, we say namaste, which just means the light in me sees the light in you. So namaste, friends. Namaste. Thanks for joining us and have a great rest of your day. Hey guys, thank you so much for uh, hanging out and doing yoga with us. Uh, you know, we'll be sending some stuff out soon uh, regarding uh, more events, uh, as well as like confirmation and some Sunday school online things as well. Um, so, miss you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe and uh, talk to you soon.